I had this discussion with Russell Ryder, who's he's kind of the father of melatonin research. He actually is the one that discovered that the pineal was more than just a worthless gland in the body. Like this was in like the 1960s. And so I, I, I asked him about this and he said that, that he was familiar with some studies that were quite the opposite, that it was very accurate as far as melatonin dosage and that um, he was very disappointed to see that type of conversation going on. Um, so if you were not to um, conform to this idea that you needed tiny amounts and Peter Atiyah's uh, viewpoint on that is that the amount of melatonin that's secreted at the blood level when we're sleep when we're sleeping is so tiny, right? That um, that you would you wouldn't want to do something that was um, out of what it would be natural, right? But melatonin is secreted intracellularly. It's it's secreted by the mitochondria, and so um, it's also secreted by the gut lining. And so there's this myopic view of melatonin, looking at at it through a certain filter that constricts people to thinking and making certain assumptions. But there's no negative feedback loop with melatonin and there's no toxicity. 